At least three real estate agents were hit last weekend at open houses and today are sounding the alarm to their colleagues. The property tours were just a cunning way for con artists to get what they wanted. Karen Bradford is seasoned at real estate, but she's never experienced what happened at the end of an open house in this quaint Kenner neighborhood. I was wrapping up. Um, I turned all the lights off. I locked the front door. Headed, headed to the kitchen to the back of the house. Uh, then there was a knock on the front door. I left my purse out. It was a friend hoping to take a quick peek at the property. And following her was a normal couple walking right behind her into the house. Claiming to be from Utah. Very well dressed. The, um, the lady was about 5'2 with short, dirty blonde hair. The, the male was about 5'9, brunette clean-shaven, very unsuspecting. What that couple wanted at the house, Bradford now believes, was anything but a tour. She asked to use the restroom, which I directed her this way. The male immediately went straight back to the kitchen. The kitchen, where the purse was left sitting on the counter. I guess that's when he proceeded to go through my purse and steal my cards. The wallet was still there, and it wasn't until later that night at dinner that she realized the cards and her license were missing. They went down to Morton's Steakhouse and bought two $250 gift cards. The couple was on a mission. Before they hit the Kenner house, they struck here in this quiet Metairie neighborhood. This time, a Remax agent had an open house and was a victim. We watch body language and we watch where they go and what they do and it was clear to all of the realtors of the homes that they went to that they were odd. She says a couple matching the same description and claiming to be from Utah showed up at the beginning of the open house. But there was somebody outside of the house that had dropped them off and would come back and pick them up so that their car would not be identified in the front. Susan Gray left her purse locked outside in her car. But her keys and her automatic door unlock were in plain sight. When the car was popped open with the remote control, somebody could go into your car. She lost her cards, too. My best advice that I've been, you know, giving um, my realtor friends is to try to get some form of ID as they enter the door and to immediate, immediately send it to your email because they can steal your phone, too. Now all realtors have been alerted about scam artists who appear to be buyers. A mass email to all realtors was sent out today. Now, Kenner Police recommend real estate agents use a buddy system for open houses. Again, have a sign-in sheet and, and try to get each visitor to show some form of ID.